Hello, and welcome to part two of the Trade Fair Spreads video tutorial. You should have already watched part one, which covers the definition of spread betting and how to place a trade. Well, now we're going to take a look at how to use stop losses and limits. So let's start with stop losses. Now, they're your friends who, well, help to stop your losses. The Trade Fair Spreads platform will automatically place a stop loss on every trade. Now, where it puts it depends on how much money is in your account. Now, an automatic stop loss is OK, but you'll probably want to adjust it to suit what's happening to that particular market and your own objectives. Here's how you do it. Start the trade as before, uh, so click on the market. We'll use the FTSE. Now, I think it's going to rally, so I'm going to buy. And immediately, I want to narrow the stop loss because I had enough money in my accounts to cover the total bet, and the auto stop loss has been placed as far away as the platform will allow for this market. Uh, in this case, that's 120 points away because of the margin. But we'll come on to that in a minute. Now, £120 is too much of a hit for me to take this time. So I'm going to do a bit of damage limitation. The most I'm comfortable losing is £50. So I click the order book tab here, and I'm presented with this dialog box. I change this to 50, click OK, get confirmation, and go back to my open trade. Hmm, profit. Now, my entry point was here. So if the market dips below here, then my trade will be automatically stopped and I'll have lost no more than £50. Of course, it is important to remember that stop losses cannot be totally guaranteed. OK, margin. Now, margin is the amount of money you need deposited in your account to be able to participate in a trade. And that varies depending on each market. To find out the minimum and maximum margin before placing a trade, then just click on this little I button here and you'll get this dialog box. Here on the FTSE, the minimum margin is 30, and the maximum is 150. So if you wanted to stake a pound a point on this market, you would need at least 30 pounds in your account to take part. Uh, if you wanted to stake 10 pounds a point, you would need at least 300 pounds, and so on. You just multiply the minimum margin by your stake to find out how much you'd need. And the maximum margin is the most in multiples of your stake that the platform will take by default. So if you had £300 in your account and you wanted to stake a pound a point, then the platform would only take a maximum margin of 150 if you didn't adjust your stop losses. By default, the automatic stop loss kicks in at 80% of the maximum margin. But remember, in some extreme cases, the stop loss won't be activated. So that's margin simply explained, but you might want to take a look at tradefair.com for a more in-depth view. Limits are the opposite of stop losses. It's not that they stop you winning too much, it's more that pro traders will have an amount of profit in mind, and then when they reach that amount, they'll stop the trade. Why stop when you're winning? Well, because the market can turn against you, reducing your profits, and if the market moves against you dramatically, you could end up making a loss. So to wrap up, think about how much you're prepared to lose on a trade, but also decide what would constitute a reasonable win, and then set your stop losses and limit orders accordingly. Until next time, happy trading.